So on a sunny but windy day, it's, I'm going to have a wee walk and look at some of the spring bulbs that are still, still giving us delight. This is Aranthus guinea gold here. And beside it, it's starting to come out now, the, the start of the Corridalis. This is Corridalis Beth Evans. And if I pan back out, you can see these are two of the, the troughs we're growing to increase the numbers. Around here you can see where the, some of the other Aranthus now going over. Leucojums, hellebores coming out. If I move around here we can find there's the Aranthus hyamalis now, flowers now over. Hopefully I'll get seed and we'll be able to continue my planting scheme I've got. Hellebores dancing about in the wind. It's often worth going in and having a look at their flowers. Really pretty. So some of the big old crocus, the Dutch style, large crocus cultivars, really pretty. You know they're they're common. You see them in mass plantings, but we shouldn't disregard them for that. We should enjoy them just the same. Come around here. We've got some lovely cyclamen leaves, a bit chewed by the wee. The wee beetles here is erythroniums coming through. Another group here. So we're starting to see the erythroniums arriving. Yet more hellebores. Across there you can start to see the more Corydalis solidus and the, the creamy Malkensis down there. Erythronium tuluminense seed is starting to show flower. Coming around to the bulb bed, it's Narcissus still doing well. Eh, not Narcissus, Galanthus still doing well. Some of these flowers last for a very long time. And when you see them dancing about in the wind, it just adds to the charm of the flowers in the gardens. Common type just nivalis down here, up here to some of the the codjums. So there's lots and lots of them. Nice clump of narcissus, just pseudo narcissus, a seed raised not pseudo narcissus. See how windy and breezy it is. Blowing the narcissus and, and how strong the sun is as well as as the camera struggles to deal with the change between light and shade. Some really good clumps of the galanthus. These are nice aim. Um, Hellebores again. This one and then it seeds around. Here we have a fritillaria here. Big shoots of this is fritillaria Edwardi. Over there we've got Imperialis. Fritillaria, if I get my shadow out of it. So just round and more dancing snowdrops. across this bed to another bed here. Come down, we can see more erythroniums going to start coming out here. Trillium shoots. Mass of seedlings of something. I suspect Cardiocrinum giganteum. Seeding there, more trillium leaves in there. 
Gory Douglas Malkensis. We come round this side more leucodiums this bed now starting to waken up. An awful lot of trilliums to come in here and other plant but this is a lot of leucodiums. As they start out here they've been seeding around here happily. They seed down here, th these ones down in the path all, all self seeded. Corydalus malkensis coming through the opiopogon. Same as this nice clump of leucodium here, standing out against the lovely black foliage. So if we just come around we can have a look back across and see the area we've just, the, the, the walk I've just down, come down this path a bit. And if we come around here we can see some crocuses. Here's the clump of the the large Dutch style cultivars and then we'll come round here and down here Crocus hoofleanus with the darker tips and as we move round along the path edge you can see the cogium seeding out into the path here moving into the shade a group of Crocus seberi the tricolour. I like tricolour. It's a lovely crocus. And if we could go down and look inside it. Really nice. Oh here's some Corridalis. This is creaked in red, the very dark red one. Just starting to come through. So although there is a lot up, there's a whole lot more still to come. So we just come round and just going to finish the wee, a wee circuit here. One of the circuits around the garden. Colchicum leaves. So much waiting to come. Down here there's in the path there's Narcissus bulbicodium, the cyclamen, erythroniums, all sorts of things self-seeded into the path. Come down a nice pink Corridalis solida. Really nice. And a good stand here of hellebore. A nice yellow flowered hellebore. Again, going well here with colchicum leaves because the hellebore is big enough to cope with the bigger heli 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 colchicum leaves when they come through. So well, maybe this is a, a good spot just to end this little walk. We'll do some more of it another day.